Hello everyone, it's Paul Ross back again of uh, You By You Do. Today we're going to talk about chimney fires. Because chimney fires play a massive part within the destruction of boats. If you have a fire on board a boat, uh, a large percentage of those is going to be around the stove, uh, distance away from combustible materials, or it just heats up so quickly. The thing is, if this boat's been working for five years, and you've had a chimney stove in here for five years, or a stove in here for five years, and it's you know done its merry job. In this year, you have a chimney fire, or the boat has a problem and it guts the boat. And I know it's roughly in relation to the the uh, stove area. It's the distance from wave combustible materials that you know it can easily start burning the back, and then take the boat with it. So what we're actually doing is, under normal circumstances, this is working fine. Okay, it is close to normal combustible materials, and if this was on a house, it would be a no-no, but on a boat you've got to take a pragmatic approach to it, and the legislation or the recommendations through a uh, building control are entirely different. We are actually in a boatman's cabin, uh, a narrow boat boatman's cabin, and even those in relation to boats are different. So, you know, you have got different steps for different areas. What can effectively happen though if you have a chimney fire? You've got four and a half foot of stove pipes, you haven't got a lot. But you can if you get a stove a fire starting around this area, or a chimney fire starting around this area, what effectively it does with the thermostat you can actually see it because happy chugging away, as I said in other videos, 300 to 450 we're burning or, or multi fuel would be fantastic, just cracking away. But if you get a chimney fire, that thermostat can go to 7 800 Fahrenheit. Now, this being the distance from there to there may be fine at 350, but once a chimney fire can actually reach temperatures of 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, the distance away from this area is being completely gone. So, you know, you've got a much better chance of the surrounding areas starting to actually have a massive problem uh, with your stove running away with itself. Now in America there's a product we've really just brought into the country. It's been stopping chimney fires on properties or on homes for over 40 years. What it effectively does is remove all the oxygen from the chimney flue and on average it will reduce the temperatures within the flue by 53% in two minutes. Now that is fantastic because what you need to do on a boat is if you think you've got a chimney fire, call the fire brigade. If you use Chim Fire Stop, which is the product we're recommending. By doing that, you're controlling the heat, continuing the heat being set off from the stove, and also it controls the chimney fire itself. So if you have flames flying out the top of your chimney, this will sort it, and it will also reduce the temperature. So then, once it's reduced, you can then have a look around what a fire brigade are on their way and check all the areas. The reason why I call the fire brigade, they've got thermal imaging cameras. And they're going to see the areas you can't see to see if there is a transfer of heat through where it's the, the boat is burning from the opposite side. Uh, if you're going to actually have this stove and it start getting the chimney fire, that's going to ratchet up, you know, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you need to check everywhere. So uh, if you have a chimney fire, undertake and sort it extremely quickly. And as I said, Jim fire stop, do that rapidly, then call out, well, call out the fire brigade uh, and sort it. Make sure they've checked everywhere as well. Never ever put yourself or anyone else in danger. If you start to have a chimney fire and you don't want to, you know, try and sort it, walk out. Uh, your life is more than a boat, to be quite honest. So on that, pause, you boy, you do.com, just a bit more information, uh, trying to keep you safe. Thank you.